Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing our April home decor haul. Each and every month we set a family budget and especially a home decor budget. And honestly, trying to furnish this house, which is like three times bigger than our apartment, which is where we lived um, right after we got married up until we moved into this house, has been quite interesting. I have to remind myself each month or I've had to remind myself that this is a marathon and not a sprint. This is nothing that like needs to be done overnight. I can take my precious time, which is my preferred way of doing things anyway. And so I'm just here to remind you that maybe you've purchased a new house or you're trying to um, remodel your home or whatever the case is. I just want to remind you guys that this is definitely a marathon and not a sprint. There is no real need to go um, to great lengths to get your house decorated because likely you're gonna live there for long enough to get it decorated. Like I don't see us living here for any less than five years and I'm confident that this will be completed, you know, long before the five year mark. So if you're in a predicament like me and you have a limited budget because you have other financial goals and you're not interested in going into debt or spending a whole bunch of money to have a beautifully decorated home, then these types of videos are possibly for you. So anyway, enough of my ranting, let's go ahead and hop into the video. So I picked up this blade brush. It is for basically, you know, washing knives and cutlery, sharp objects. As you can see, knives and forks. And then I like how you can store it. I doubt I'll store mine like that because I wouldn't want the brushes to kind of touch basically anything in the sink because everything in the sink is kind of gross. So I don't really think I will store mine like such, but I do like how you can do that if you want to. But this is one of the first things that I picked up. Next, I picked up this kitchen sink utility rack and I can't wait to bust into this and to use it because I really think it is going to work out for my needs because I just want a central location to store all of my cleaning products and all of the things. And also after you wash like some forks or some smaller things, you can technically use this for that as well. So as you can see, they have sponges and all different types of um, rags and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to bust into this. There's a removable sucking cup, a dishcloth rail. It fits most sinks and holds utensils and cleaning tools. Like I said, if you're washing like some small cups and whatnot, or just, you know, anything on the smaller side of things, then you should be able to use this to allow them to dry quickly. So I'm excited about this. I picked up these waffle terry dish towels. They were relatively inexpensive. I like how they're white and I plan to use them either for the towels that I always put on the stove or I plan to use them to actually dry dishes because I do hand wash dishes all the time and put them away immediately, which is why you don't see them out drying right now but it's a set of two they're reversible um so i don't really know what that means i guess maybe it's like oh like pure cotton on this side and then like the waffle texture situation on this side so anyway again relatively inexpensive and so that's why i went ahead and picked up these as well i also picked up this beer glass i'm assuming it's the exact same size of like your average beer so i picked this up for my husband basically it is 16 ounces and like i said i don't drink beer but i'm pretty sure that's the average standard size i just thought it was just like a classy fun way to you know drink your beer and I don't I'm not saying drinking beer isn't classy if you're drinking it out the can I'm just saying I just felt like this would be just a nice way to you know drink your beer but I really picked this up for him because I picked up a new mug glass situation well kind of too but I really picked up one thing for myself so I was like oh this is cool I'll pick up this for my husband let me grab that though I picked up this mug for myself and it is a coffee mug obviously but you know you can drink tea and all sorts of other things out of it. It is far more sturdy as it should be than the beer can, but it's super, super sturdy. So I don't remember how much I actually paid for it, a few dollars. I know that to be factual, but it's super sturdy for the price, for sure. Next, I picked up these wine glasses and they are massive. I don't really know what ounces, 31 ounces. So as you can envision, <laughs> that's a pretty large wine glass. So I picked up these and I picked up two because sometimes my husband will drink wine with me. And honestly, I never have more than one friend over <laughs> at a time, truthfully. So therefore, I didn't really see the point in getting a whole bunch of them this is for hip red wine whatever that means but matters not to me I'll be drinking whatever type of wine or alcohol out of it I loved how big and long rather the stems are so um, I did pick up these and speaking of wine and all things wine I saw that they had these wine stoppers for pretty cheap I think they were like 199 so I picked up two of them we do have a couple of them but 
typically we always need more so I just picked up these since they were relatively inexpensive haven't used them yet this is more like a silicone rubber type of situation I can see that but I don't really know you know how exactly it's gonna work but I did pick up these next I picked up this bud vase and if you go to the website you'll see like a little bud hanging out of it I'm not really sure what my plans are for this I just bought it as like a little deco piece it was relatively inexpensive but this is technically a bud vase next I picked up this candle holder it is not very tall as you can see just in reference to the Bath and Body Works candle it's not super super big but it is considered the large one and so because I wanted to add a little depth I went ahead and picked up the smaller one as well and I'm just gonna put two little candles on there not really sure where they're gonna go maybe in my office maybe not but I thought these were pretty cute then I picked up this large tea light candle holder I do have some tea lights here so this is gonna be super cute whenever I light it I feel like they had more um, this is considered to be the large one I think they had a smaller one and a medium sized one but I knew that the large one really wasn't that large so I certainly didn't want to see what the small one looked like so I just went ahead and bought the large one and I absolutely love it the last couple things are the things that were pretty expensive compared to all of the other things but I had been in the market for some bookends for a while and these definitely caught my eye they're super heavy like these seriously have to be like five pounds they are that heavy like five pounds each but I like like the gold trim and I just felt like they will match and go with my office aesthetic really well so I went ahead and picked up two of these bookends I guess they came in a set if I had to guess and then last but not least I picked up this volcanic ash sculpture felt like it was super modern and aesthetically pleasing so I'm going to be putting this in my office I do believe this was pretty expensive it was like $47 this is the last thing that I added to the cart last minute and it was definitely close to $50 but I really like it and I really think it's cute okay so that is everything that I got in my haul this is from my April little shopping spree if that's what you want to call it again I am working with a very limited budget because truthfully although we are trying to furnish and decorate a house and we have lived in this home for a while well like a year and a half we still have a very long way to go I am in no real rush and that's kind of why I wanted to share this video just to let people know that there isn't a huge rush you can also budget and buy like more expensive pieces like normally I would never purchase bookends for such an amount but or a volcanic sculpture for such an amount but because I'm budgeting and taking things more slowly then I feel like I am able to get more of the things that I want instead of like trying to rush and do it all and trying to buy pieces that are more expensive obviously that's going to mean that we're going to be set back drastically um, financially and that's not really the path that we're on we are on a journey to retiring early and so we're investing a whole lot of our money and so we just don't have the funds to be able to do like to completely furnish and decorate a house I'm assuming it would have taken us saving up tens of thousands of dollars to be able to do it but obviously it was more important for us to move into the house and to continue our financial goals so we are going to be decorating and furnishing slowly but surely stick around if this is something that interests you I'll see you guys in my next video bye